In this video, we're going to use the mean value theorem to deduce something about a graph. Um, you won't fully understand this until you see some examples. So watch this through and then watch some, uh, some examples. Okay. So this here is our mean value theorem here. We are going to use this to deduce something about a graph. Okay. So the mean value theorem states that, uh, in the interval between A and B, there must exist a C where the, where the, um, w w where the derivative at precisely C uh, will equal will equal the average gradient. Well, anyway, this here's our, our mean value theorem. So what you've got here at the moment is you've got this thing uh, divided by this thing. So times both sides by b minus a. That will then give you this. So what what, what you've got here at the moment is one block take away this block, uh, and that's the same as this block times this block here. So now add add this block to both sides. That will then give you this. Okay. So from this here, we can deduce some, something about a graph. So let's set this up. Let's set this up in such a way that B is always bigger than A. So let's set it up so B is always bigger than A. Looking at this here, we can deduce something about a graph. Looking at this here, we can deduce something about a graph. So set this up in such a way that B will always be bigger than A. Now, if B is always bigger than A, then this thing here is positive, is, will, will always be positive. Now, if, if f, uh, if f prime of c is positive, if f prime of c happens to be positive, then, then, then what you've got here is, uh, you've got f of b here, uh, equals f of a add something, add something, because, because we set up a system where b will always be bigger than a. Now, if, if b is always bigger than a, then this must be a positive number. Now, if, 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 f, if, if f prime of b, sorry, if f prime of c is positive, then, then this thing here will be a positive number. So you're adding something. So you're adding something here. So you've got, you've got f of b equals f of a plus something. That would imply that f of b will be bigger than f of a. So, so what that means is, um, f, uh, f, what that means is our graph is actually climbing because, because f of b is bigger than f of a. So our graph, uh, the, uh, our graph will be climbing. So wait there. So when, when, when we, when, when, when we're here, if, if f of, uh, if f prime of c is, is uh, a positive number, then we, then we can say that the graph is climbing. Now, in reality, um, you, you will know that f, um, f prime of c will be, will be, will always be positive because, for example, uh, let's say you're given a function f of x equals x to the power of 4. Uh, if you, if you differentiate this, that will then give you this, uh, for x to the power of 3. That will then give you a graph looking something like this. Now, in the interval of, let's say, a and B here, A and B here, in the interval of A and B, you see F prime here will always be positive because looking at this is, the point I'm trying to make is that there, there will be times when, when you will realize that the F prime of C, um, must always be positive. Okay. The mean theorem, the, the mean value theorem states that F of F prime of C, C is somewhere in between A and B. You don't know where. This C here could be anywhere in, in between A and B. But the thing is, there, there will be times when you don't really care because, because for example here, in between A and B, F prime will always be positive in this case here, looking at this graph. So the, the point I'm trying to make is that there, there, there might be times when, when you realize that, um, that in between the interval A and B, whichever A and B that you decided to talk about, um, F prime of C, well, C is somewhere in between, but you know that, that in that interval, F prime will always be positive, will always be positive. So there will be times when you, where, when you will realize that F prime of uh, C will, will always be positive, regardless of where C is, somewhere in between A and B. Somewhere in between A and B, C, this whole thing here will be positive. There will be times when you will realize that this here will be positive. Okay. So now, Looking at this here, looking at this here, there will be times when you will realize um, f prime of c will be a negative. Okay, there, there, there will be times when you will realize that 
f prime of c will be negative. So remember, we set up the system in such a way that b is always bigger than a. Well, if this is um, if b is always bigger than a, this here must be a will always be a positive number. Well, there will be times when when you will realize that this here will be will always be negative, regardless of where. Well, you don't know where precisely c is, but you know you know that in between the inter, in between that interval a and b. You don't know where C will be. It could be here. It could be here. There, there will be times when you don't really care because you know that in between A and B, um, F prime of C will, will always be negative. So, well, if, if, if this bit here is always negative, don't forget this is positive. If this is negative, then you're going to, you, you're going to minus something in here. Well, F, uh, F of B equals F of A minus something would, would mean that uh, that f of b would be less than f of a. Basically, it means that our graph is, is, um, well, if, if here, if this here is f of a, well, if f of b is less than f of a, then it can only mean that our graph is, is falling. Okay? And there will be times when, when you realize that f prime of c will be, uh, will be, will always be zero. Um, so, so if, if f prime of c is zero, then, then zero times a positive number here, then this whole thing here will be zero. So, so well, if f prime of c is zero, what you've got here is um, let's say f of a here, um, and then f of b here. If f prime of c is all is zero, then then f of a equals f of b, meaning that our our graph is constant. Okay. Um, I don't expect you to fully understand this, but hopefully after some examples you. You understand it. Okay.